this Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Showtime. Richard Abril, who, of course, uh, if you saw the Brandon Rios fight with your own two eyes, you know that Richard Abril won it. Of course, he was given the loss, uh, a decision loss. He's fighting the undefeated Sharif Bo Garay. Uh, he is undefeated. He is a very tough fighter from Uganda. We bring in Robert Axel, the editor in chief of boxing.com. I should probably put that out there. Robert, uh, Abril is 17 3 1 with eight knockouts. Uh, with that last fight against Brandon Rios, he really showed me a lot. What did he show you? Well, he is tough. Uh, he can take a punch. Uh, he can throw a punch. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't wilt uh, in the face of pressure, uh, be it in the ring or out of the ring. Uh, tall, lanky, uh, good fighter, good boxer. Um, somebody who uh, really deserved to win that fight against uh, Brandon Rios. Bogare, 23-0, 15 knockouts. Seems like a very tough and game opponent. He has been on Showtime's cards, not for some time, but we have seen him on there, the Showbox cards. Not necessarily the big, hyped-up Saturday night fights when Canelo is going to be fighting. But we have seen him on the Showbox cards. What does he bring to the table, and can he possibly, can he possibly, what seems like, pull the upset because he's not as known of a name as Richard Abreu? Oh, he could possibly, anything could happen in any given night, especially in boxing, as we know. Uh, Bogare is a good fighter. Uh, he's got those incredible roots uh, uh, in Africa, in Uganda specifically. I mean, he, he is tough, he is strong, he comes to fight. Uh, but again, he is taking a step up in class, as you pointed out. Uh, he has not fought the same level of competition as Abril, uh, but... Um, this is a time, if he's going to make his move, this is a time for him to make his move, and he's got an incredible platform on which to do it. You've discussed how uh, Uganda, fighters from Uganda are a little different, and how they may have a bit more of an edge. They're more game fighters. I mean, what, can you explain to the audience what you kind of mean by that? Well, as we know, boxing is a poor man's sport, um, and there is poor, and there is really poor. <laughs> And basically, somebody who grows up in Africa, uh, which is, is life, life is hard in Africa. Life is hard in Mexico. Life is hard in South Central LA. Life is hard uh, in many ghettos. But life in Africa is really hard. I mean, in order to sort of fight your way to the top, you have to really be tough. Uh, you have to be tough simply to survive, but to fight your way to the top, I mean, it's really something. And Bogare has done that. Um, and there is a tradition of Uganda fighters who have done that. I think of John the Beast Mugabe, who was one of the one of the hardest hitters in the history of boxing, an sure. amazing fighter. So, I mean, he can look to somebody like Mugabe, um, much as a Mexican might look to Chavez Senior, for instance, as somebody who was able to pull themselves up and turn themselves into into into, into superstars in a sense. But Bogare uh, has done that. I mean, he has he has risen to the top in his own country, and now it's his chance, really, to rise to the top in our country as well. All right, Robert, so let's get your final decision. Richard Abril, the WBA lightweight champion going into this fight against Sharif Bogare. What do you say? Who do you think comes out on top? I feel upset, and there's no way I can justify it, but it's like a gut feeling I have, and I think, uh, I think Bogare is going to win the decision. I agree with you as well. Uh, a lesser-known fighter who comes in with an undefeated record. Look, we've seen Lucian Butte go into fights with an undefeated record, and look what happened against Carl Froch. Now, obviously, Richard Abril is not Carl Froch, and there's something about the unknown fighter in this case, because Abril has three losses. Uh, he should have two. And there, I don't know, I, I mean, I, I think I agree with you on this one. There's some gut feeling in me as well that Sharif Bogare will pull off the upset. We will have to wait and see. Showtime, Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, tape delayed on the West Coast for us here in L.A. Robert Axel, the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. You could follow him on Twitter at Boxing underscore com and follow his writing at www.boxing.com. Robert, thank you so much for the time, and we'll talk to you again next week.